Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Vumeo Station. What's going on, Lumio Station? Shady Penguin here, bringing you episode number seven of Pokemon Scrabble. Before we get started, if you can, please show some shady love to that like button right below this video. I really do appreciate it. Now, um, I know I missed last week, and uh, if you follow me on Twitter or on my own channel, you'll know that I'm actually sick. You could probably actually hear it in my voice, um, which means that I'm actually not going to be as energetic as it, and as enthusiastic, and probably not even be able to speak English as well as I normally can. Um, but I was not about to miss another week. Um, trust me, it really, uh, I didn't talk to anyone about it, but it really tore me apart missing last week. Um, and I was not going to miss another week, so I do apologize in advance if this voice is unbearable and you cannot listen to it, then I am sorry. But, uh, I am pushing myself a little bit here because I want to and I miss recording and recording so long and just want to record. But, uh, we're actually, like I said, this is week seven of Pokemon Scrabble and, um, I'm sure, I'm going to preface this, I'm sure that my voice is going to crack an awful butt ton during this episode, um, especially once I'm battling, and I'm going to get into it, and I'm going to try to scream, and it's not going to work, but um, we have our bag of letters here. If you don't know Pokemon Scrabble, we choose letters. We make Pokemon, we make a team out of those letters. We have done um, three weeks so far with the bag. Uh, I know it's episode seven, but we didn't start using the bag until episode four, uh, until episode three, so this is our fourth week with the bag, which means there's only eight letters in here. There's only eight left, so we're going to pick them really quick. We're going to pick them. By the way, you'll notice... This is actually the first video I've recorded since I've been sick. I actually changed my mic out. It's over here now. It's up in the air. There's a little black uh, thing here, and that's just the way I want it right now. I kind of want it here. I like the fact that there's a, uh, I don't know. I like it. Shut up. All right, just shut up. Um, whispering's really bad for your vocal cords, but I'm gonna, I just did it, so I'm going to try not to do it again. All right, our first letter is going to be an H. We have an H right here. That is nice. That is uh, not bad. Yeah, there's some really good Pokemon with H. Then we have a nice little a V. I immediately thought of one Pokemon that I want to use, um, and that's a four-four-letter score, four-point thing. I'm a jigger man. That actually that could mean something. All right, and then we have a P. Look at all these high letters, high scores, I should say. Um, we have an H, a V, and a P. Now let's see what else we can see. We have a T. Oh, I just dropped it. Come on. Come on, man, you're sick, and I dropped it. Where'd you go? Where are you? I'm in black sweatpants. I know I don't match at all. I don't know where that letter just went. Come on. Well, you know what? Oh, I found it. I was going to say, it's a T, and I know it's a T, and you guys are going to have to believe me, but here you go. You don't got to take my word for it anymore. It's a T. And then we have one more letter, and it's going to be... I'm sorry, we have two more letters. I'm sorry. We have a K. That's a five-letter score. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Right there. Kitten. Right there. Meow, meow. I'm surprised I could do that, actually. Wow. That's actually uh, really surprising in a good way. And then our final letter for this week is going to be an N. We have an N. Don't spell it. We have an N. But uh, we can't spell any words this week because we have absolutely no vowels. I think we use all the vowels, actually. So there's two letters left in this bag, which means next week these two letters are being chosen. But when we come back, I will have my team already. Hopefully my voice will be a little bit more clear because I'm going to go uh, do some magic like I did right before I recorded this. I don't know how long the magic is going to last, but whatever. I'll be right back. All right, Lumio Station. So we are back and we have our team all together. We are actually battling PK Sparks, the hotness. And uh, it's cool. He obliged. I just needed someone to battle. And uh, since I'm sick, I didn't want to take it to Twitter. And I was just like, hey, PK, let's have a battle. And he's like, all right, cool. So uh, we're going to go over the team that I ended up picking, picking for my letters. You guys, you guys can see the team that I chose. Make sure you guys leave in the comment section below. Let me know who you would have chosen. I mean, I am sick. So maybe my team building uh, skill is kind of even less non-existent or even more non-existent I should say than it normally is but uh here we go I'm bringing some Pokemon that I've really always wanted to use and I just haven't gotten a chance to use them in 6th gen yet like Volcarona is someone I've always wanted to use and I nicknamed it Nightmare because I wanted to I'm bringing a Volcarona I'm bringing a Hydreigon I'm also bringing a Kingdra right there uh, a lot of powerful Pokemon in my opinion um, so then I wanted to back it up with a little bit of uh, a support, so I decided to grab Tangrowth and Porygon 2 as my core. Porygon 2 is always such a sponge, it can take so many hits with only one weakness, and it even has a, a neutrality to, um, not neutrality, I'm sorry, a, a immunity to ghost typing. It's really good. And then I grabbed Ninetales because I didn't know what to grab for N, and I love Ninetales. Plus, I noticed that my team had a, um... Not that they had a water weakness without nine tails, but I, I don't know. I wanted to use nine tails, and I noticed I had a water weakness because of Volcarona, so I decided to make Volcarona even more bulky because I'm running a bulky variant. Um, let's bring the sun to reduce any uh, water type attacks that PK Sparks might want to throw at us. I'm gonna grab my phone really quick so we can take a picture of PK's team, and uh, 
Let's see what he's bringing. Oh, he's bringing power. Oh, he's bringing his team from the battle that I just watched on Lumios. Oh, no. This team is really powerful. Um, <clears throat> He's got his Lantern, Tengroth, Absol, Drapion, Mamoswine, and Alakazam. So, I know, um, I'm, so like I said, you guys know I'm sick. I'm not going to mention it again. I might mention it twice, more, two more times, but whatever. Uh, my voice is not as normal as this, it is normally. If this is the first episode you're seeing, I'm sorry. Go back and watch a couple more, and you'll see that I'm normally different. But, um, who's he going to lead with? Probably the Mamo. I think he's going to lead with the Mamo. Um... Because I think he's gonna lead with the Mammo, I'm actually gonna lead with the Kingdra. I'm gonna lead with the Kingdra. Now this Kingdra is a little different, a little different. Um, the reason why I'm leading with Kingdra, by the way, is because um, it's it's neutral to ice and it's neutral it's neutral to both the Mammo Swine stabs. And even though I'm not the bulkiest, I'm running. Uh, what did I end up running? Oh no, on my Hydreigon, I'm running Bruce. Never mind. But um. I couldn't leave with Hydreigon, obviously, because the Ice-type move is there. Okay, he does it with the Mammoth Swine. Um, unfortunately, I do not have any spinners. Um, I guess because I assumed he would leave with Mammoth Swine, I probably should have led with my Volcarona, um, now that I'm thinking about it. But I think I can create the opportunity for my Volcarona to be fine. Uh, it is running Roost, and um, I probably definitely should have led with it if I predicted that. I should have. All right, we can't go back now. What we can do, though, is we can actually... Looking at his team. All right, I'm gonna go for the waterfall. I'm gonna straight up go for the waterfall, hoping that maybe I can get a flinch, if that's possible. Is my autofocus on? I'm gonna be very upset. Wow, that doesn't even bring him down to his sash. Um, I am running a physical, uh, what do you call it? A physical king drop. I'm sure that's a thing. Okay, autofocus is not on. I'm sure that's a thing, but I haven't seen it in a long time. So what I'm actually gonna do here Hmm. I actually think I'm gonna go for a dragon dance. I mean, that Tangrowth is probably gonna come in though. And I'm looking at it. I think the Tangrowth is gonna come in. Um. We both have Tangrowth on, and what's really funny is I actually nicknamed my Tangrowth after his Tangrowth, so that's really funny. Um. Let me see, let me see. If his Tangrowth is gonna come in, do I stay in and just go for an Outrage? I don't think that's gonna do a lot because of how bulky he is. Um, I could go out into my Hydreigon. Man, I really wish I had a spinner on this team right now because that's really going to limit my, uh, limit what I can do. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's go out of the Hydreigon. Let's go ahead and predict, I mean, either he's going to go for the Earthquake or he's going to switch out. So let's go out of the Hydreigon because either way it's a good play. I mean, it's possible to go for the Ice Shard. That would be terrible. Um, no, he is going to withdraw his Mamoswine, and he's going to go out into his, into his Tangrowth. Alright, so we made the correct prediction, um, and that's good because we can get a Flamethrower off here. Um, who would he want to take the Flamethrower? Probably the um, Lantern, but it's only, it's only the third turn. I'm not going to make that prediction. I'm just going to go for the Flamethrower. I'm not going to overpredict. Oh, he is going to withdraw, though. I'm sure that he's going out into his... Uh, into his light bright, yep, out into his gosh darn lantern. Now I don't know if this thing want is running the um, ice beam. I feel like it might be running the ice beam, but I'm not entirely sure. What was that? I don't know what I just did. I'm sure we brought it in like that. He's running the ice beam, unfortunately. Um, with that being said, oh, man, I don't have my only thing I have for this is tickles, but tickles doesn't want to take an ice beam. Tickles, no! Um, he's running the leftovers, but he's especially bulky. I was so close to going for Dark Pulse. Um, let's go out into our Porygon, just because that really is the only thing I can do. Um, really a shame that this Lantern is here, because it is especially bulky, and as much as I would... I, oh, man. I'm going to trace the Water Absorb, which is nice. Um, he's gonna go for the Toxic. Oh my gosh. Actually, you know what I saw happen in PK's battle? Um, someone traced the Alakazam's Magic Guard with Porygon. So I don't think he's gonna give me that opportunity at all. Um, I really don't think so. The Toxic is gonna really hurt having it on our Porygon. Having it on our... It's really gonna stink. Um, we can pretty much at this point just go for a neutral Thunderbolt. See how much it does. Um, he's gonna set up a Substitute. Um, I know that he has the Water Absorb because that is what I traced. So I can go for the T-Bolt, not fearing the Volt Absorb. Can that break the sub? That's not even going to break the sub. Alright, we have a huge problem. We have a huge problem. 
absolutely huge problem with this this light bright being behind the sub um i don't know what he's gonna want to go for but we do have to break that sub before anything else so we're gonna go for one more t-bolt hoping that that will do the trick uh our porygon's gonna be below half which is absolutely terrible i probably would have been best uh when he was switching out into his tangrowth i probably should have just set up a dragon dance with my um with my Kingdra, because I'm neutral to his grass. Let's see if I can create that opportunity again. I'm neutral to grass, which means that I could probably take something from him. And Kingdra, with 252, Timid, um, and then you have a Tangrowth. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We only have the Outrage, but he doesn't have any Fairy-type Pokemon. So Outrage, wow, that wouldn't have done much at all, would it have? No, it would not. Okay, all right. So you know what? That's 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 fine. Um, yeah, we, we broke the sub, got down below half. I saw the Discharge. I'm thinking that he isn't carrying the Ice Beam. I'm actually going to take that risk. I'm not going to take the risk um, with Hydreigon, but I'll take it with my Tangrowth. Uh, because I do have the regenerator, so the rocks won't be the biggest deal in the world. So I'm going to take that risk, hoping that he doesn't have the Ice Beam. I've seen Substitute, Discharge. Um, I don't know. There's a really good chance that he does have the Ice Beam. There's a really, really good chance. But this is like my only opportunity that I'll have to do some damage. I mean, granted, unfortunately, my Tangrowth is a special attacker. So I won't really be able to... Um, I'm not going to be able to do too much, but I should be able to break the sub. Now, you can see the nickname, Not Tickles. I decided to get a shiny Tangrowth and name it Not Tickles because he has Tickles, which is a shi uh, regular Tangrowth, and, you know, just good. Goes for the Toxic, which is not a good thing because I don't have a Cleric on this team. I absolutely do not have a Cleric on this team, and I'm going to need this Tangrowth around. Now, as much as I want to predict... Um, like, for example, his own Tangrowth to come in. I do get a crit. I don't think it mattered. I'm pretty sure that was going to do 25% no matter what. Because um, he's not running Assault Vest. So, yeah. It, it should do... It'll do It'll do 25% no matter what, minimum. So, I think he is going to switch out here. Uh, taking that risk, I'm actually going to go for a knockoff. Actually, I could go for a Sleep Powder. Oh, but he might predict that and go for a sub. Mm, let's go for the knockoff, because I think a knockoff will break a sub anyway. Let's see. He is going to withdraw, so we're going to get a knockoff off right here. Knockoff off. Goes out into his own tickles. Wow, that's just what I thought would happen. Look at these two beasts on the field. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We're going to get a knockoff on this thing. And uh, I'm going to get hurt by the Rocky Helmet, but I'm going to get rid of that Rocky Helmet, which is nice. I'm going to have my leftovers, and now I'm pretty sure I am going to dip. Now, what stinks, what really stinks, I mean, this really, really stinks, um... I'm pretty positive he's going to go for a knockoff. I think the only thing I'd really appreciate a knockoff on is going to be... Actually, hold on. If I go into Volcarona here... No, because he's got... Mm, no, let's go Let's go out into, let's go out into our uh, Ninetales. I'm actually running a weakness policy bulky Volcarona with Quiver Dance. Um, I should, I, I wanna, I'm going to try that out again on my channel. I'm going to actually build a team around it because I really think that's a really, really, really good set. Like, really good, in my opinion. Um, as long as I don't get hit by uh, rocks. He's going to go over the Sleep Powder, but he misses that stinks. That matters. Because now I have the Sun Up. And uh, that's a huge deal. Because I'm gonna go, I'm just going to straight up go for a Flamethrower. I'm not risking. I kind of want to go for a will o -Wisp predicting a Switch. But honestly, nothing on his team. Even the Lantern doesn't want to deal with his Ninetales. He does go out into the Lantern, but I'm fine with that. I will outspeed, and I can get a nice Solar Beam off, which is great. And plus, look at that. That's almost a 2 KO being resisted. I'm going to get hurt by my life orb, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because I'm pretty sure that I should be able to just get a solar beam off and get rid of light bright. There it is. Even being not stab, I think this should kill. Super effective. Come on. From a life orb nine tails, down goes light bright. We get our first kill, which means I got to open up a notepad really quick. And, um... I gotta say, Nine Tails gets plus one, or actually, N is yeah, and is only worth one point, so we get one point for that. I think PK said good luck in the chat. 
Oh, he's he's in Skype. I had to. Not tickles. Uh, <laughs> he's freaking out because I named my named my Tangrowth after his, but not tickles. All right, so he's gonna come out with the Absol, which is actually really scary. Um, I kind of want to predict the Sucker Punch. I'm gonna go for a Will O Wisp predicting the Sucker Punch. He might predict me to predict the Sucker Punch and go for something else, but at this point, it's kind of what I have to do. Let's see what happens if I can burn this thing. That would be great. Uh, he's going to go for the Detect. Wow, not bad. Not bad. That way he gets his Prankster up. Um, plus, he gets his Speed increase now, and I'm pretty sure the Mega Absol is somewhat fast. Yeah, base 115. All right, so he's outspeeding me now, and he's going to kill me. Um... I'm pretty sure Absols are physical, and I think I'm gonna go out into my into my Tangrowth here. Now we're gonna get into a little bit of a, a little bit of a struggle because we both have Tickles, but mine is unfortunately um, paralyzed. I'm sorry, he doesn't have he doesn't have. Why did I say that he had uh, Prankster? He has Ma Absol is Magic Bounce. I'm sorry, I rarely see. A uh, Mega Absol. So kudos on PK for using, for using Mega Absol. That's fantastic. But um, I, we're gonna become we're gonna get into a little bit of a stalemate here. I'm actually just gonna go for a Giga Drain. Um, there's nothing else for me to go for. Oh, he has the Fire Blast. That's a dead Tangrowth. Wow. All right. Detect Night Slash Fire Blast. That's freaking awesome. I'm not gonna lie to you. That is awesome. Now I don't actually. Huh. I don't think I have anything that wants to deal with this. I'm sure he's running the Sucker Punch. But Absol is super frail. So, I think my Kingdra can take a hit from, uh, from an Absol. And, uh, I'm actually, I kind of want to go for an Outrage. I'm going to think a Waterfall will kill. I feel like a waterfall should kill. I don't know. Maybe not though. Maybe not. Maybe I have to go. Maybe I have to go straight outrage. I might have to go outrage. Um, I don't even know if outrage will kill. Wow. All right. I guess my only real chance then is to hope that he doesn't actually have the sucker punch. So let's go for dragon dance. Um, has the night slash right there. Um, that's not gonna do enough. I have to really hope that he's not packing the Sucker Punch. Uh, he's running Detect, Fire Blast, Night Slash. Uh, I feel like he's got to be running Sucker Punch. All right, well, we're going to hope that he's not. And we're going to go for... I feel like we have to... I feel like we have to go for... Um... I don't know, man. I just got to go for Outrage. Just got to do it. I just got to go for Outrage. He withdraws Absol! That's a good sign. Um, I'm going to go out into Tickles. I know Tickles is thick, but is Tickles thick enough to take two Outrages? I don't know. Okay, Tickles is thick enough to take two Outrages. And uh, that's unfortunate because this thing, he can he can do whatever he wants to me now. He can actually put me to sleep. Um, I am packing the Lumberry, so I'm really hoping he does go to put me to sleep. I am going to get confused. Oh, no! I needed three turns. I needed three turns. He's going to go for the Giga Drain. Um, that's actually not going to take me out. Because uh, Kingdra just doesn't care. Kingdra literally does not care. So Kingdra's going to get some... Ki Let's go over the Outrage. Let's go over the Outrage. Thankfully, he did not go over the Sleep Powder. He probably didn't go over the Sleep Powder because he predicted me to have a Lum. And he thought, you know what? He, I don't want to put him to sleep. And then break him out of his outrage. So I'm actually going to go over the outrage. I'm actually pretty sad that he switches out into Grimma. I think I could have taken Grimma out with the waterfall. Maybe not though. I don't know. But physical, physical Kingdra right now is trying for some work. Um, is his Grimma is going to eat the sit? Oh, whoa. Okay. Wow. He's going to eat a berry to raise his attack in a pinch. That's that's fantastic. I want that berry. I don't even have. I want that berry. I am going to take this thing out, so Kingdra's going to get a kill. That is five. That is five right there. Now, can we get a three turn? That would be really nice if we can get one three turn this game. 
Yes. All right, we got one three turn out rates, which is awesome. But I'm at the point where his Mammoth Swine can come in with the um, Ice Shard and take me out. This is exactly what I thought was going to happen. So that's unfortunate. But Kingdra, you know what? I'm happy that you got a kill. Physical Kingdra getting a kill? I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. I like it. I haven't seen Physical Kingdra at all this generation. All right, so... I think what I have to do... I have to hope that this Mammoth Swine is not running. Well, the only other thing I could do it up against is... Um, I'm trying to think who I could set up against with my uh, Volcarona. I think the only other thing I could set up against is the Tangrowth, but that's if, if, if something else gets put to sleep. Because these rocks are forcing me to have to roost. Um, no, I still, it still has to be against the Tangrowth. It still has to be against the Tangrowth. Because I have to roost, he has to put me to sleep, and I have to try to wake up. So let's actually go out into our nine tails here. Because now that his um, Light Bright and his Drapion is gone, I don't think many things on his team want to switch into a um, Sun Boosted, Sun Boosted Flamethrower. I really don't think so. I think he's actually just going to go for the Ice Shot for damage here. That's what I think PK is going to do. Pretty sure. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure. Now, unfortunately, my Hydreigon is not Scarfed. Um, I'm not running a Scarfed Hydreigon. I was actually running Expert Belt. I did not expect this many fast Pokemon, I guess. Um, I think that'll work well on like a, uh, what do you call it? A Sticky Web support team, something that can support him with Sticky Web. Then possibly I would be able to run the uh, Expert Belt Hydreigon, but not so much without Sticky Web. It's not fast enough. I mean, then again, I'm saying that because I see a, I see a, um, see an Alakazam and a Mega Absol. So between those two things, that scares me a lot. So he's gonna come out with the Mega, the, uh, with the Alakazam, um, which is going to be able to just fit, pick me off right now. He's just gonna pick off my Nine Tails with the Shadow Ball. And I'm sure. I mean, he's probably Magic Guard. I would think that he's Magic Guard. Actually, this is the perfect time for me to come in with my Porygon and do the same exact thing that was already done to me. He's going to be so mad. Oh my gosh. I don't think it matters because I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to just kind of take care of me. I'm going to go for recover, hoping that he can't. That would be nice. But I think that I'm only at 48 HP. Even though I got to trace that magic guard, I am not at a high enough HP to take a psychic from an Alakazam. So down goes Porygon 2. And uh, I think that's going to be the game. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that he's carrying Dazzling Gleam. I'm actually going to go out into Volcarona here. Not having a spinner on this team really did me dirty this week. Really did. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just... I don't think I'm going to live. I'm going to go for... Hmm. I don't think it matters. I don't know why I'm thinking about it. I'm going to go for a Roost on the off chance that I can live something. Goes for the Psychic. I'm sure that's got to do at least 50%. Yeah, oh wow, for a second I thought I was going to live. I wonder what the calc is on that. I want to see. Volcarona, um, Alakazam. But that is going to be the game as I'm sure that he has the uh, Dazzling Gleam. Um, a Psychic. Wow, I had a chance to live that. I had an actual chance to live that Psychic with my Volcarona. That's crazy. That's cool to know. All right, well, let's go for the Dark Pulse here because why not? There's the Dazzling Gleam, so that's going to be the game. PK, thank you so much for that battle. Um, we got completely smashed this week. I think we actually only ended up getting six points because we only got two kills. But, uh, yeah, hopefully next week I can come back when I'm healthier. Uh, hopefully I'll be healthier before I record the next week's episode. Oh, I killed three Pokemon. Who else? Who else got a kill? I think Kingdra actually got another kill. Yeah, Kingdra got another kill. So we got, all right, we got 11 points. We got 11 points this week. Um, and our current record for Pokemon Scrabble is three wins and four losses. So hopefully we can even that back up next week. I'm um, going to be a little more tactical about the Pokemon I choose. I actually really, I just wanted to use a lot of these Pokemon. But those Stealth Rocks really did me dirty. I should, If I open with Volcarona, I might have been okay. Because then I could have set up a Quiver Dance. And I think, I don't know, we ne we'll never know. I think I could have handled everything on his team. Uh, except I wasn't running Giga Dream, so I couldn't take care of Lantern. So that would have been interesting. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure you click that like button. Go check out all the other conductors here on Lumio Station. Show some support. Show some shady love to everyone else. Have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep it shady.